Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be doing an accepting all trades. However, there's a slight twist on this one. We can only accept trades that include draft picks. Pretty much all of them anyway, I think. For the majority of trades I receive, I feel like draft picks are involved. But I guess this is going to be a time to find out now, won't it? So let's jump in with the Vancouver Canucks here and see how many trades don't include draft picks. And what trades we get that do have those picks involved. It is actually pretty crazy how many trades get thrown at you in this game. I mean, I would think that's not realistic. I don't know. I'm not a NHL GM. All right. Shocker. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I feel like there's just not that many trades that happen in the NHL with that many trade requests, you know? In fact, I am very confident there is not. However, like I said, I cannot answer for sure because... Yeah, not a not a GM. So, which player are we gonna have taken from us? It's gonna be. Oh, never mind. Sin the draft. Uh, no, Di Pietro. Come on, that's a low blow. I actually am kind of upset about that one. I can't lie. The expansion team ended up winning the draft lottery. Okay, let's sim the pick. They get Kostitsin, 81 overall, and he's pretty good. Not a bad pick. Let's sim to our pick. Aw. Never mind. I didn't, I, we don't even have a first round pick. Get me out of here. Don't need to worry about contracts because I added a contract year. So we're all good in that department. And we have a contract limit warning. Amazing. Let's check out the free agent players here. Anything that, you know, might be worth grabbing for the squadron? Maybe. I don't mind Dominic. How much cap do we have? We have 3.7. Yeah, why not? I'm also going to grab Mulgan and Hosang for the simple fact that they have decent potential here in medium and high top six respectively. And they're both still pretty young. So that could at least give a little bit of trade value, I think. And before I forget, it's time to update the trading block. Okay, so we already got OEL on there, which is cool. Myers is there as well. Let's generalize this trade block, shall we? So once again, only... Pick involved trades will be accepted. This menu's kind of broken here, but anyway, we'll let it slide. Let's go to add an item, add a defenseman now, and of course, we're going to add a goaltender. So there you go, goalie. And now we need to turn on all of the draft picks as well. Boom, boom, boom. And, oh, I can't do it. Pow, pow. That sucks. All right, there we go. An extremely open trade block in terms of both surplus and our wants. We should hopefully get a lot of trades here. And I am very curious to see if I'm remembering correctly and a lot of them do have draft picks or if we actually got a few that do not include them. But I mean, they can only trade so many draft picks, right? Unless they're trading picks for picks. And then at that point, it's just going to be outrageous. But let's find out, shall we? The first trade here, we're getting rid of Wu and Chase on for two thirds. So we got to say yes. To the dress, boom, accept trade. And now we end up not getting Hosang. That is disrespectful. Okay. Yes. All right. At least we got Malgan. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, my word. Okay. Well, there's draft picks, believe it or not. Ooh, they almost didn't. But there goes Tyler Myers. See you later. And now we've... Get... <laughs> they all have picks, man. I'm telling you. No, they don't. No, they don't. We get to keep Hoaglander and Richardson. Dean and Patera will remain with the Golden Knights. I can't wait for them to automatically update my trading block without my permission. Dusty Brown, fire me up. More draft picks. No! We are getting fleeced. Another trade here. This one includes a fifth from Colorado. We're getting a second for 2023 from the Oilers in exchange for a fourth and Yermo. This is a pretty big one. We're losing two players who I believe... I don't know if they're on the roster or not. I think Dickinson is. But anyway, yeah, there is a draft pick involved again. So see you later. More draft picks. What a surprise. Except, Hoaglander was safe temporarily, but now he is gone. Headed to Colorado. We're getting Brodine and Talbot and for Horvat. Oh, man. I thought we were actually just getting some good players for picks. I got my hopes up for no good reason. Except that trade as well. We're losing Yero Halak. Except that one. It doesn't matter because we got Talbot. Don't know how long that will last. But we do have him temporarily anyway. Connor Garland. See you later. There is a fourth involved. I once again... Saw the pick last. There's another set of draft picks involved. We're getting Ellis and Atkinson. Okay, I'm down with that one. I am very into this trade. Richardson was the other player that was safe in that Hoaglander trade, I believe. But he is not safe anymore. We have finally arrived. At least we still have Quinn Hughes. And we still have Thatcher Demko. 
So we're gonna we're gonna make the playoffs no matter what. It's a gimme at this point. Pretty pointless trade, but all right. Now that we've had all of our crazy off-season fun in terms of trades, I'm gonna try to make things a little more interesting by making our trade block so that we're trying to get players that can actually be in the lineup. All we have left is first round picks. This is crazy. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's by trade value. I was so confused. I take that back. There we go. It is in fact quite the opposite. We have a lot of draft picks. With the updated trading block, we got a bunch of players on here. We have all of our draft picks on the surplus. And then for once, we're trying to get some depth players here. Because our defense wasn't so bad. So we're going to try to get some forwards in second line, third line, and fourth line. We don't want first picks. Because we're just not interested at this point. Second, third, and fourth plus, we will be accepting. Other than that... Let's just go find out if we get any trades that will actually help our team or if they're just going to ghost us now that they can't absolutely destroy our team. If it does get to a point where we're not really getting any trades, then I guess I'll probably update the block, but we'll see what happens. We're 2-2-0 two, two and o to start off the year. Ooh, no, we are not. Somehow they still meant... Did they... Hold on. Did they update the trading block again? I literally just changed it. I guess we're not doing terrible. 13-9-0? Okay, we're actually floating on here, not too bad. We have seen one trade so far. It was not exactly what we were looking for, but we got a trade nonetheless. I think at the deadline, I'm going to try to find trades for some players and see what we can come up with. Maybe try to beef up at the deadline if we even need it. Look at this team go. Trade alert. We're getting Glenn Denning and Nemesnikov with a fourth in exchange for a second and a sixth. Yes, please. Shen, ha, <laughs> Luke Shen's going down, the Intimidator. All right, well, let's go to best rosters. I want to just go make sure that our lines are correctly updating because, oh my, look at JT Miller go. 46 points in 41 games, certified mad lad. They're here. All right, they both get instantly put on the second line. Preferred lines just to make sure that it's all good, but we should be. Yeah, is there any I can... anything I can do here? I realize I just, like, stopped mid-sentence. Oh, Luke Shen's still here. What are they talking about? Anyway, we're second in the division right now, so we're doing solid, which I did not expect. Full collapse before the trade deadline, perhaps? Let's see, Montreal. There's an L. Oh yeah, here we go, boys. Classic. Love to see it. Nice. All right, we got a couple wins there at least. A few in a row, as a matter of fact. It is trade deadline time. We're a buyer. And let's enter this deadline. Who can we get? I, I know. I'm avoiding because... It just doesn't really work out. Can we find a trade for Hurdle? No, we cannot. Couture? No, we cannot. Klingberg? Oh, we can. Oh my, absolutely not. Besser? Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's basically that sound effect. Anyway. Oh. It's accepting all trades, so I have to do one of them. And I'm not getting rid of Broccoli. Ah, oh, but you know what? Cam Atkinson is on the first line with that plus three chemistry, I think. Oh, I hate this for me. I really do. This trade's so much worse, though, I feel like. All right, I'm sorry, Cam. Fine trade for Connor Brown. Maybe he can replace... Yes! Okay, now we're talking. We got five potential trades here. Yeah, yeah. We got options. We'll go with this one. So there we go. Connor Brown, welcome to the team. That is huge. That's a replacement, I suppose. Jamie Ben. We probably don't have the cap to take... Well, maybe we do. What about Phil? No trades found. Ben. Nope. Sagan. Oh, okay. Never mind. It jumped over to Varlamov. What about... I, I just... Yeah, do we have the cap? I doubt it. Brent Burns. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to find one. I was going to be actually upset. It's not even letting me... Oh, I guess he already got moved. That makes sense. Aha. I have follow. No trades found. Letty. No, I don't really want defenseman. Victor Arvidsson. Nothing. Holy crap. All right. Maybe we're not going to make a whole lot of trades. We have Cam Talbot on the block, apparently, but I do not actually want to get rid of him. Athena, see you. No. Radulov, come on. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Well, I think we're just kind of stuck now. Whatever. Let's go find out what our team looks like. Just double checking. No, no. Yeah. All right. See you later, deadline. So thankfully, Brock Besser actually gets a plus three as well. That is splendid. Great news. We do have Connor Brown now on the second line there playing with Nemesnikov and Glenn Denning. Okay. Defensively, we've got Klingberg playing with Hughes, Ellis and Brodeen. 
Okay, yeah, that's okay. And we got Larson with Tucker Pullman. Our defensive core is actually quite solid. In net, we got Thatcher. Enough said. All right, Cam Talbot as the backup. We might make the playoffs. We actually have a chance here. In before a crazy post-trade deadline collapse. So after the trade deadline, we ended up losing six in a row. And then we're on a two-game winning streak now. But yeah, we just got forced way down in the division. I feel like playoffs are not going to happen after all. But it is still possible. You can't rule it out. No, we're done. We are done. Or are we? We're wildcarding, apparently. No! You guys couldn't win one freaking game seriously man oh my word this game pisses me off we ended up finishing sixth in the division if we would have won one game one more game we would have been in over the ducks but of course not no we gotta tie the rabbits and the la kings incredible what a scene entire league pittsburgh wins the president's trophy with 116 is it the top 16 teams no it is not the 18 and 19 Sharks and Ducks make it in. Individually, we did get 81 points from JT Miller. What a stud. That's huge. 72 from Quinn Hughes. 70 from Petterson. We got 61 from Dustin Brown. Oh, let's go. Besser with 59. Connor Brown got 48. Thatcher with a 905, 284. This game is unrealistic. I'm uninstalling. There's no way he does that poorly. Cam Talbot, 6, 11, and 2 with a 900, 295. So our goalies did not do so hot. Well, let's check out the entire league. Boom, we got Connor McDusty with 107. Actually, let me go to forwards real quick. So he gets the Art Ross. And we have 53 goals apiece from Matthews and McKinnon. Looks like they're splitting the Rocket Richard. No, they are not. Ovechkin gets 57. Wow. Look at him go. I guarantee you 59 of those were from his office. Quinn Hughes led all defensemen with 72. Fire me up. At least we got that going for us. Dougie with 65. Fox, 64. McCarr down here with 54. Goaltenders. Boom. Jari gets a 915, and he had the most wins with 45. We got a 925 from Flurry and a 923 from Kemper. They did very well. Fazzy's up there with 44 wins. Smith with 41. Let's sim the playoffs and find out what happens. The Penguins go on to win the Stanley Cup. They had quite the year. President's Trophy and Stanley Cup winners. Did they take any players from us, I wonder? Let's find out. So I'm going to go to the standings real quick. See what their lineup consisted of. Where is Pity? They are the Metro. Yeah, boom. And they had Malkin, Crosby, Gensel. Right? No, I don't even think they, they just had their team. And they killed it. Fair enough. Stanley Cup goes to the Penguins. So does the Presidents in Colorado. Made it to the finals against Pittsburgh. The Art Ross goes to Connor McDavid. And so does the Hart. Hughes gets the Norris. We're not going home empty-handed. Lady Bing to Nate Mack. Bunting gets the Calder. Sydney with the con Smythe. Flurry with the Vezina and the Jennings. Pareko gets the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Lorentz. O'Reilly gets the Selkie. McDusty with the Ted Lindsay. And Ovi with the Rocket Richard. Certified beautician. Can't be denied. Here's the playoff tree that we should have been in if we could have won one freaking game. I don't know why it always does that, but the trade deadline is just... Like a team killer. After that, we just suck. Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed that with the slight twist of draft picks. I think there was only one trade we ended up declining. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.